Engineer 775 here. Um, a lot of my installations require pretty large tanks, large cisterns, and uh, as we put in black or dark green to just minimize any algae growth in those, you can't really tell where your water level is at. And sometimes that will, that's not good. You, if you have cattle or you're homesteading and need a lot of water, and uh, your tank's empty for whatever reason. A pipe froze, a cow broke a line, tipped over a water, pump's not running, solar's not working, you name it. So when I was playing around with the shop, I got a lot of extra parts from different projects. Ended up uh, taking this uh, float and modifying it, adding a simple pump rod. And then I'm gonna put this, it's just a combination of bulkhead fittings and scrap parts, and making it a uh, basically a float level indicator. So we're going to put this, a picture of this inside your inside your tank, this fiberglass pole that we're going to put some flags on so that I'll know when the tank is full it's going to rise up, it slides really nice inside of that indicator. So we're going to calibrate this to the tank that I'm putting it in which is a thousand and fifty gallons. And so I can allow me to see that flag from you know a thousand feet away or whatever so I can just kind of glance at it during the day and so I don't get caught with no water in the tank and cows don't like that when that happens so anyway so we just took some parts from around the shop from a bunch of different things nothing fancy and built a little uh, basically an indicator to let me know that my tank is full sometimes you can do your overflows and the water will flow out and if the water's flowing out your overflow you know your tank is full and that's good enough but my overflow is about 1800 feet away and I can't see that from the house. So this is going to be a quick visual check to let me know that my tank is full. Pretty simple, but uh, let's, go, uh, let's go install it. Instead of um, drilling a hole in the tank itself, I'm going to drill it in this um, the lid because that way I can always get a new lid, but it's very hard to replace a tank. They're very costly. But I can always get a new lid if this was a bad idea. So I'm going to go ahead and drill a, drill a hole in the lid. Make sure I get this thing in the right orientation. That one. Okay, so we drilled our bulkhead, we threw the, the cap, we put our bulkhead fitting in our gizmo. So now we have, if you look at the ball here, it slides nicely through the lid. It's a little tricky, you got trees in the way. You pop that in there, put the lid down. Now this tank is full, so I'm pushing down a little bit. There. Now we're, everything's tight. No bugs can get in. Drill this nice and tight. So now you have a float indicator built right into your into your tank. We're going to take and put a some reflective tape and put a flag on the end of the pole here. So we'll come back and do that. Okay, we're finishing up our tank leveling uh, level indicator project here. You see the flag we put at the top. And uh, the tank is full, water's going out the overflow, so it's very buoyant right now, it's right at the top. So I can tell and see from my house now that my tank is doing well. And as it comes down, and if it gets down to this level, I can kind of gauge about where the tank is at. And if it gets down, down to here, I know I've got a problem and I've got to deal with it. Either a broken pipe, uh, leaking uh, cattle water, 
something's not right. So this allows me to take a quick glance and know that the system's working fine and I don't have to travel, you know, half a mile to see where the water's coming out to see that it's working or to look at the pump. If everything, if that flag is up, I'm in good shape. So I think that's about it. Pretty quick install, very easy to do, pretty simple with a bunch of parts around the shop. We're probably going to put this on our website. Okay, and to know whether or not my tank is full, I can see that red flag. I don't know how well the camera shows it from here, but I can see it without the camera. I'm zooming in. There's a red flag. So, I know my tank is full. And it'll give me a good idea while I'm grilling out here or just mowing the lawn or just walking around. I can take a quick glance up there and see that the tank is full. That means the solar pump is working great or any pump I choose or you choose to use to fill your tank. So that's one way, a uh, simple way, pretty inexpensive way to make a tank level indicator. Engineer 775 signing off.